Warning Fanzine presents the best of bomb shelter videos. Original footage from the first 13 programs. Tonight's show will feature some of the best, the best of the worst, the worst of the best, not to mention everything in between. Just for tuning in, you get people jumping on each other. There's skateboarding. Reviews from albums from 1984. Hey, man, how about Fanzine updates? Yeah, but wait, there's more. Some of it's in color, Anarchy, some of it's not. Some of it you can hear, some of it you can't. But remember, you'll never see anything like this on network television. Well, welcome to Bomb Shelter Videos. My name is Bill Board, and we've got a dynamite show for each night. I've got a ton of videos, um, underground, alternative, garage bands, just a whole lot of interesting stuff. So I'd like you to stay tuned and check some of it out. Also, we're going to talk a little, little bit about Highlight, uh, Warning Fanzine, which is a publication from Anchorage, Alaska. It's an alternative music publication from Anchorage. And it seems like it's pretty well packed full. It just had its two-year anniversary issue. Also, we're going to talk about compilation album albums. Now, a compilation album is, of course, an album that has a compilation of assorted bands. It's like a band couldn't afford to put out a record, so somebody else put out a record with them and a whole bunch of other bands on them, and they're called compilation LPs. And I've got a bunch of those I want to go through today because they're great samplers in case you've ever wanted listen to a little bit of music but you're not sure which band you want to check out right now I'd like to show you a couple of videos um, they were produced by a friend of mine named Paul Jendrick I'm not sure which ones they are because he just gave me this whole list I think we've got Circle Jerks and Pig Bag <laughs> Yeah, we want to dedicate this song to all the freedom fighters in the house tonight.
that last video was pretty interesting. Of course, that was a video videotaped by a friend of mine, Paul Jenrick. Um, right now, we have some compilation LPs. Now, a compilation LP, I want to explain this to you a little bit, is a, a record that has a whole bunch of bands on it. Not just a couple bands, but a lot of bands that someone else probably produced because the band couldn't afford to do it themselves. Um, to start with, we have a few records from Mystic Records. Now, Mystic Records seems to be the father or who knows the, they just seem to put out lots of compilation LPs because they're trying to get a lot of bands on 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 record so people can hear them this is um, Mystic Cop Copulation LP and of course the Mystic Sampler which has a, a lot of bands Ill Repute, Sin 34, SVDB, Manifest Destiny, Mentors and actually too many to mention also We Got Power, Party or Go Home Mystic Records Presents this is another hot one from Mystic. Uh, if you don't know any bands to pick up, if you don't, if you're not sure of a band that you'd like to hear, pick up a compilation LP because the compilation LP is going to have a good assortment, and you'll be able to decide from there. The Sound of Hollywood. This is by Mystic Records, of course, and it covers sounds, the sound of bands that live in Hollywood. This is Phoenix, not the Circle Jerks. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Phoenix, not the Circle Jerks. Is um, an album featuring JFA, Conflict, Soylent Green, Sun City Girls. Victor and Zany Guys, and it's of course out of Phoenix with a title like that. Next we have Maximum Rock and Roll. Now in the Maximum Rock and Roll compilation, it's interesting, it comes with a book, and uh, the book tells you about all the bands that are involved in this record, and what's this say? There's um, 47 Northern California bands on one LP. It's a, it's a double LP, so it's two records, and it's quite an investment. This is put out by Maximum Rock and Roll, which is a fanzine out of Berkeley, California. Next, this is Boston, not LA, featuring bands from Boston. Of course, the Eastern Front, featuring a lot of bands that played at the Eastern Front, which is a, a, a one-year music program. Uh, it's just a big musical happening each year that happens in California. And on this album, we've got DOA from Canada, then The Offs, Toiling Midgets, Warzone, Flipper, TSOL, The Lude, The Wounds, and Tanks. Now, Rodney on the Rock, channel radio station KROQ out of um, LA puts out a couple of compilations, and there are a lot of a lot of music that Rodney, of course, from Rodney on the Rock plays on his show, and this is an album of his compilation LP, Mixed Nuts Don't Crack, another uh, compilation LP. This is an interesting one. It's called Life Is So Boring. Why Not Steal This Record? It's got another. It's another LP that's full of compilation. Who's on this one? We got. Artistic de Decline, Germs, Minutemen, Red Cross, Modern Warfare, Shattered Faith, Anti, Mood of Defiance, Harikari, Sin 34. God, just more, like I said, more, more bands and songs than I can, I can mention. You just have to check the records out. Next, we've got another compilation put out by the same company uh, called Life is So Beautiful, So Why Not Eat Health Foods? And then last and not least is a compilation called The Blasting Concept put out by the SST label, which features Black Flag and Husker Du. And so we've got some videos coming up right now. The, um, I think we have Black Flag and Minutemen and possibly Saccharin Trust. And those are three bands that are on this record coming up for you right now on Bomb Shelter Videos.
The fact is open. Hope you're all pretty happy. Be red, day of job. Be red, day of job. I'm also twisted. Hot shit in the breeze. Now just like holding me. Hey, Joel. Thanks a lot for having us play. It was really a lot of fun. Sometimes with people, I think I've seen movies turn around off the edges. I'm set in history, I lose my identity, stop coming a party. Pop up two tents with one piece of rope, fire curtain inside of me. And reform, admit that you failed, stop coming and party. Thanks to the reason, refuse it to reason, by listing the reason. Chasing the reason, refusing to reason, I listen to reason. Well, we're back at the bomb shelter and the videos you just saw were of course bands off the SST label. Right now I'd like to talk a little bit about a fanzine from Anchorage, Alaska. Can you let me take these for me, Joey? Is that cool? Okay. And it's called Warning Fanzine. I've got a few of the earlier issues here and I've got the latest issue which 
far surpasses any of the earlier issues. Issue number one, of course, from this is all from Anchorage, Alaska, and it covers the music scene that they have in Anchorage. I've noticed a lot of it, though. Like, for instance, it says, in this issue, interviews with Fear and Nina Hagen. But then it also covers local stuff, so it covers out-of-state and local, just like most, most good fanzines would. And here we've got Dead Kennedys, Minor Threat, Black Flag, Skate Death. Interesting. Issue number six. Suicidal Tendencies Visits Alaska in this issue. That's pretty hot. Uh, we're here on the cover. This issue is totally dedicated to skateboarding. It says, in this issue, skateboarding, skate buddies, skate buddies, skate death, unity instigation, record reviews, and scene reports. And of course, the last issue before the latest issue was uh, the Gifted and Talented issue. And then the two year anniversary issue, which just came out, oh, a couple weeks ago. But, <coughs> excuse me. By the way, highlight warning fanzine from Alaska this year, or this week on the show, because it's, it's, it's just definitely an improvement over a lot of other publications that have been, been attempted in Alaska. Warning fanzine covers them all. And right now we're going to look at a couple of videos from a couple of Anchorage based bands, The Psychedelic Skeletons and Skate Death. This one's called It's Alive.
like I really know how to make you sick. Can't you think? Have you ever been on the brink of fight? It's that time again. That's right. You know it's time for We'll Call You. That's where I take this phone right here and I call a number that someone submitted this week. And here's the number we have this week. I got everything going here. It's 563. Let's see if we can get this out so you can hear it. Okay, one ringy ding. Hello, caller. This is Lulu coming to you live from the shower. Well, sort of. I'm in the shower, so you got to leave a message on this answer machine, and I can call you back when I get dry, okay? Okay, bye. Mm. Remember, Dusty, you're the one. <laughs> Drop the soap. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've just been bombed by Bomb Shelter Videos. Thanks for letting us use your answering machine. Bye-bye. <laughs>
another phone call down. That means we need more phone calls. So if you have a friend with an answering machine, that's right, a friend or an enemy or someone that might let us use their message on the show, please send in their number to the address on the screen. Bomb Shelter Videos, P.O. Box 102993, Anchorage, Alaska 99510. And we'll try and give them a call and maybe play their message out if it's suitable for airing, of course. Um, right now, I'd like to take you to some more... Um, Underground videos. I'm not sure what the next band is. I think it's um, Minor Threat. for this week's home video.
Oh yes. I and Arky? Mm -hmm. Okay, well it's um, it's time for your appointment, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this magazine down. Oh, right. Now I remember I talked to you earlier on the phone and you said you wanted a little bit on the sides, take yes, it off so you yes. can stand up a little bit better. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we need to do? Okay, we'll just take a look. Are you going out someplace tonight? You've oh. got a big date tonight. Let me check the yes, size. Yes, yes, I do. Mo is just taking me to this extravagant restaurant this evening. Mo, what's his name? Mo. Mo Hawk. Yes. Oh, I know Mo. I seen him earlier today. Yes, oh, he yes. came in to have the sides shaved off. Oh, I guess a month ago or so. Oh, really? Oh yes. Yes. I Be a killer tonight. I checked the other side here. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, I see. It is. There's quite a difference. Yes, it's longer. Yes. I had a really crummy hairdresser before. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're coming to me now. Yes. <laughs> well, I hope my date looks as good as I do. Excuse me, just a moment. I'll be right back. I've got to. Got to pick something up here. <laughs> there was another customer at the front door. They were wondering if I was ready. I told them I'd be ready now. Oh, just a few moments here, but I want, I want to finish up here. Anyway, Anne, I hope you have a, a nice dinner tonight. I can't believe it. Mo finally asked me out. We're going to have such a wonderful time tonight. Forget about the date? I'd better give her a call. Gosh, the phone is ringing. I'm not even ready. I hope it's not Mo. Hello? Hi, this is Mo. Is Anne there? Yeah, this is Anne. Uh, yeah, I'm almost ready. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll see you tonight then. At 7. Okay. Bye-bye. Dream of my life. <gasps> we on it? Oh, hi. How are you? You're probably wondering what kind of date this big date is. Well, actually, this date is a very special date amongst two young people. You're probably also wondering, what do I have to do with this whole story? Well, actually, nothing. I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I'm fading. Yes, dear, you look fine. Oh. You look great. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, hi, Mo. Uh, Mo, uh, this is my mother. Mother, this is Mo Hawk. How do you do, Mr. Hawk? <laughs> nice to meet you. And I have some flowers for you. Oh, Mo, my favorite. Dead daisies. Oh, Mother, would you please go put these in a box? Of course, dear. They're... Lovely. Are you ready to go? Mm, yes, I am. Thank you.
Isn't it nice when you go to a fancy restaurant? You'll always get a good table if you wait long enough, and you'll even receive a spectacularly great meal. Waiting for the food always seems a little long, but isn't it always worth it? And just think of all the nice people you'll meet, and all the good manners that you learn just hanging out at fancy places such as this one. It's so interesting. Fashion is all around us. Sometimes you'll never notice it, but other times you'll find somebody sporting a camera, not wanting to miss one moment of all the action, all the fashion, all the liveliness that's in the air. Fancy places and great dates can always make a wonderful evening. Finding the right table can also make a date very lovely. Remember, always take off the woman's jacket and offer her chair first. It makes her feel more like a woman. Another thing to think about is a beautiful table setting always makes the perfect evening. A table setting with, oh, a nice silk tablecloth or something kind of nice and pretty. Something that makes the table or the whole area seem more, more romantic. A real gentleman knows how to put the tablecloth and not make a mess of things. But remember, always bring a candle. You'll never know when you might be able to not, or maybe be able to use a candle even, because that, that will set the mood. Never carry a lighter, always use matches. And your evening will be as lovely as this.
leaving your table if you don't really want to leave a tip. It's awful nice if you'll just help the maitre d' by picking up your own garbage and disposing of it properly before you leave. Another nice thing is don't ever forget to pack your candle in your candle holder. Blow the candle out first. Then shake off the wax over the floor or someplace else not getting on your tablecloth. And then lay that in your vase sideways. Now what I like to do is roll the vase and the uh, candle up in the tablecloth and then fold it into thirds. This way nothing will fall out. That way and then this way. And you bring it up and the proper way is to actually carry it under, well I believe it's your right arm. Some people do their left but I believe it's their right so your lady can hang on to your outside arm. And thus the conclusion of a very beautiful, beautiful evening. The end of the night. Well, um, I'll tell you what, my cameraman got really tired because it was really a long show today, so um, he's kind of resting right now, which means it's really hard for me to shoot this. He, he, he passed out, so I guess it's about time for me to say goodnight for Bomb Shelter Videos. I hope you enjoyed the show. We've got a ton of great stuff planned for next week, so you've got to tune in next week, same time, same station for, well, me, Bill Board, and my program, Bomb Shelter Videos, because it's going to be a great show. So until next week... I'll see you later. I'm going to crawl on out of here. Bye-bye. in a matter of seconds, and the heat and blast effects you can see and feel.